This video is being brought to you by BitTube. If you're a content creator or a live streamer, BitTube is the perfect option for you. Videos that you upload to BitTube are always monetized and ad free. Content creators as well as viewers always earn revenue via airtime. BitTube is also a decentralized platform meaning no content ID. Click the link in the description to find out more. Yo, what's up guys, it is Brother Shield here. Today is gonna be a very special video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to completely multi-stream or restream directly from your console. Whether that be on the Xbox One X or the PS4. And you won't need a capture card or a PC to do it. However, you do need a PC to set it up. So without further ado, let's begin with the video. As I was browsing the website, I came across a reddit post called Restream for Xbox. By the way, a quick shout out to the potato that killed, it's very interesting name, that brought this to my attention. This website is unlike any other site, they support restreaming directly from your console. You just start your stream as normal and you use this site called Aircast to push your stream to other services. By the way, I will leave a link in the description to the website below, make sure you check it out. You can log in via your Twitch account, your YouTube account or your Mixer account. Whichever one you choose it doesn't really matter so long as you can log in because soon after you'll pretty much be linking all three accounts after. It's pretty much straightforward, all you just do is sign in and you'll be taken straight to your dashboard. Now once you've gone through the tour of the website, you pretty much click your stream profile. Once you're in your stream profile, make sure you've linked all your accounts, your Twitch, your YouTube as well as your Mixer before you can proceed any further. Once all your accounts are linked, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You pick a source for your stream. So for example, with the Xbox One X or the Xbox One, you most likely be using Mixer. You can use Twitch on the Xbox One X and the Xbox One, but highly recommend that you stick to Mixer. Whereas on the PlayStation 4, you will either be streaming directly to Twitch or YouTube. You can pick either one of these as long as you have a decent internet connection. Now the custom RTMP, this is where the magic is gonna happen. I'm pretty sure most of you people who are watching this video know about Restream.io. For people who don't know, it's pretty much exactly what it says in the title. You pretty much restream onto different platforms. Uh, there are many tutorials on how to use it online, so I'm not really gonna be covering on how to pretty much set it up. There's many YouTube videos for that. But for this example, I'm gonna pretty much stick to Castra.io. It's pretty much the same as Restream, only a different company. And for people who are using Restream but don't know about Castro.io, it's pretty much the same. The only difference is you don't have to pay for the custom RTMP. You can get one for free. You still have to upgrade if you want to use Facebook Live and all the other service, but in most cases, it pretty much does exactly the same thing. Pretty much have to upgrade if you want to use Facebook Live and other services. However, in most cases, it's exactly the same as Restream, only slight differences. But enough about that, it's time to get back to business. Now, when you add a destination and you add a custom RTMP, you're pretty much going to paste your RTMP pool. This is what you're going to be using on your Aircast. So, when you start the stream on the Aircast, it will automatically Restream directly to your Restream or your Caster.io. If you want to use Restream, make sure you get your RTMP pool link. And if you're using Caster.io, just click this button here and make sure you get your RTMP pool link as well. After you've done that, it's pretty much just copy and paste, save the profile and you're pretty much done. All this part is practically self-explanatory. I don't really have to go into too much detail. All you just do is pick the source of your stream so again, if you're going to stream on the Xbox, you're streaming to Mixer. Uh, if you're going to stream on the PS4, you're going to stream to Twitch. You just pick um, whichever one you're going to stream on and then you pretty much click the dashboard. And once you started your stream on your particular console, so we're going to use the PS4 for this example, we're going to stream to Twitch. What you do first is select the profile that you have created. So in my example, I've created two profiles, one for the Xbox because I chose I chose Mixer as a source stream and for the PlayStation 4, I chose Twitch as a source stream. So once you start your stream on your particular console, you then hit this button here, start streaming. To see the videos, you can easily click this button here, show player and voila, 
not only will you be streaming to Twitch, you will also be streaming to Mixer and also Caster.io. All restream, depending on which one you copied and pasted inside the link. The main reason I use Caster.io is because I'm able to stream directly to DLive, the main streaming platform I'm focused on, and also BitTube which is what I use here for the custom RTMP. And just on a quick side note, if you're streaming to Mixer and Twitch, make sure you turn off Twitch and Mixer in your Restream or your Caster.io account. You don't want to have a double stream of a stream. It's just not gonna connect and you're just gonna get unnecessary issues. Now, lastly, we are gonna talk about the chat. To keep it very simple, there's an app called, or not really an app, there's more of a program called Speed Chat or speech chat, I can't pronounce that, sorry guys. But long story short, you just sign in and you just connect your Google account and you can connect both your Twitch, your YouTube, I will also make sure you click on mute as well. But anyway, you can connect your Mixer, your YouTube and your Twitch and pretty much all your messages can show right here. So when you're streaming, you can pretty much use uh, speech chat or speech chat, I can't pronounce that again, to pretty much display all your messages. Speech, speech chat, okay. Yeah, it's pretty much self-explanatory. There's a program called Speech Chat where you can connect all your accounts like your Twitch, Mixer and YouTube and have all the chats displayed at once. If you have to use other service or other accounts on DLive or BitTube, sadly you have to keep those chats separate. One last thing I forgot to mention, there will be a 45 second delay, not a lag but a delay on the multi-stream. So this means if you're streaming to Mixer, the Twitch stream and the other streams that you're restreaming to, it'll, there'll be a 45 second delay. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. So just a quick recap, you select your console, you stream it to either Twitch or Mixer, then you go onto the website, you select start stream and you pretty much restream to other platforms. If you want to stream on the PC, forget it, just use Streamlabs OBS or use any other software that you can use. Same goes for the Android. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys like it, please feel free to share it. And as always guys, this has been your boy Brother Shield. Take care and peace. Destinate Ricky and Jupe Who's full contact sucked in black holes Sending them to a place imagination on overload Searching the hand locking other evil villains It's time to get out, no more time for killing So it's all laid out and plain to see They say the boom cocks and they say the galaxy say, say. This ain't no game no more baby This is real, real.